Hey you guys, welcome to my June favorites. Um, I have a lot of good stuff to show you today. And not that many things, but they're all really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But before I break that down to you, you guys like my face? I love my look. I am in love with it. This look was produced using 100% drugstore products. I did film a tutorial. 100% drugstore makeup. It should be out by the time you're watching this video. And actually, I just filmed that video. And I was like, I ain't going nowhere. I don't want to waste this face because I was going to film my favorites later on. But you know what? I love the look. So I went ahead and took advantage of it. So this is going to be my June favorites. Like I said, it's not that many, but they're really, really good. So the first thing actually became a favorite today. It's still June and it still counts. It's this lip combo. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a sucker for a matte lip since all, like I've been loving matte lipsticks since my Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lipsticks. I love matte lips. It's not my only go-to matte lip, but I just... Like, it's not my only go-to lip, but it is, like, 90% of the time. I love the matte liquid lipsticks. I just love matte lips. And if I do wear a lip gloss, I usually don't wear it over a lipstick because sometimes I feel like it's just so much. It's, like, looks so goopy, to be honest with you. Um, I do do it, but it's, I just stay away from it. But this lip combo today, I'm absolutely in love with it. And this company as a whole, I'm in love with. So we're going to go ahead and start with Milani. I am wearing one of the new matte lipsticks they came out with 10 matte lipsticks, right? And now they have 10 more. So, yeah, that's yeah, that's what it is. 10, maybe they came out with like 6. Whatever, they came out with a set of matte lipsticks, and this is the second set of matte lipsticks, and I only got one from the second set. And this is number 74. It's called Matte Darling, and it's a very, very pretty pink. You know I love a pinky nude, but it's more pink than nude. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful shade, but I topped it with a nude gloss because I'm not finding a good nude lipstick. I'm For me, I'm having a hard time. Some are good, but it's not like, you know, you find that shade and you can wear it every day. I'm like, oh, this is a cute nude. This is good. And then I'm bored with it. So I don't know. But anyway, this nude gloss is TheBomb.com. And this is Milani's um, Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Bare Secret. So I'll go ahead and put it next to the lipstick. And they're both on my lips together gorgeous this looks like something like you would get from um like gerard cosmetics or something i don't know i always follow them on instagram and they have very very pretty needs anyway to keep it moving with milani um i'm back into using part of this drugstore look and even before this i was using the um i'm back into using their bella eyes gel powder shadows their singles um they retail for like four or five dollars but I absolutely love them. And the reason why I love them is because the color selection is amazing. And they're very easy. What am I trying to say? Very blendable. And you can use these. I actually did a full face look. Not a full face look. A full eye look a while ago using these shadows only using my fingers. Because they're really great applied with the fingers. Um, but this specific shade that I really like is um, Bella Taupe. I actually have that blended in my crease today. I used all Milani shadows for this drugstore look. But this is Bella Taupe. And I actually am depotting them. Well, I depotted the earlier ones that I bought and put them in a palette. And I'm going to do the... I have like eight new ones that I purchased that I need to um, depot. But, yeah, I Milani is killing it with the blushes, with the... Like, I have a lot of Milani products on today. But they're killing it. And um, the, Bella, the Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows, they have like 30 shades, which is great for a drugstore eyeshadow. 30 shades, and I want them to come out with like more. They had a limited edition shade they came out with, Dulce, which I have as well, but I want them to come out with like 20 new shades. Like, all the shades, ever. Like, ever. Anyway, um, so that, you got the Milani. Then on to... This Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. I got this maybe this month or last month. And I am not a big loose powder fan because it gets everywhere. Um, I like loose powder. Like, I'll do it under my eyes, my banana powder. Or sometimes, if it's like a full-on foundation, like my Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy is a loose powder. I have an Amon loose powder. Um, but I still don't use those as much as a pressed powder. Just... I don't think anyone uses loose as much as pressed. But I got this Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. I do have their finishing powder, like the translucent one. I tend to stay away from those. I'm going to try that one. I tend to stay away from translucent. I'm so afraid of the flashback. Um, if I know specifically that it won't flash back, then I'll use it. But I'm just so afraid of looking ashy. So I, I 
don't use translucent powders as many as I have. I really don't use them. But I'm going to start because Black Opal has a translucent one. But this one that I've been using is not translucent. It is in the shade Deep. 05 Deep. They have like maybe three or four different shades. And it says this diminishes shine in a natural matte finish. And I can say both of those. This is about $10 at Walmart. It is very loose. It's a lot probably in the top. And it is awesome. It gives me the most beautiful finish. I love it. It's, it's, I want to say like HD type of powder, like on the lines of my black radiance, but it's beautiful. I love it. You definitely should try it out. Even my Caucasian lighter skin, white girls, whatever girls, pale girls, they do have, like I said, have a translucent and they have a really, really, really light one. So check that out because, um, just if, if, the consistency and if the finish on the powder is not different, you guys should definitely check it out. I can't guarantee that, but it's great. Like, I like it. All right. Um, also, I've been using my Scandinavia sprays. Um, let me get the other two. Oh, well, I actually have three. Um, I actually have three. This one I purchased from iMats. I want to say I purchased from iMats two years ago maybe hold on okay yeah so I think it was two years ago but anyway I absolutely love it it's like the Bentley upsetting sprays and when I went to IMAX this year I purchased the primer spray oil control and I spray it my mom just came home and I spray it um before every time I use my it's oil control before I um Put on my makeup. Sorry, I, I got distracted. Put on my makeup and it really blocks the oil and it really helps with that situation and it's it's awesome. And recently, they had a sale. I don't... Like, these are very expensive. So, one setting spray, the Scandinavia, is like... One of these is like 28 bucks. Online, I had to take advantage of this deal. It was buy anything on the site and get a free full-size setting spray, free shipping... And then there was a code for like 20% off. So I ordered the bridal spray and um, I got this one for free and it was, I ordered both and both of them were like $21. Like it was, I had to take advantage of it. But anyway, I like the bridal spray because the difference in, okay, I have the finishing, I have the oil control. Oil control is supposed to make you stay matte, keep you matte. They have a hydrating one and the bridal one is supposed to be like cry proof, waterproof, kiss proof. And it does like, it works. But it, in my mind... I've been looking at the ingredients. I don't see the difference. Like, it works just as well as the regular Scandinavia. So, it's great. It's worth having. But I don't understand the difference in the sprays. But, nonetheless, it is a favorite spray. Like, I'm loving it. Okay. On to mascara. I've been getting back into my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because I've just been reaching for it. I need to clean up my mascaras. But, it's a great mascara. Um, I do not like waterproof mascaras but I almost wish this was waterproof because it does flake but the way it makes my lashes look I just don't put it on my lower lashes um I put it on my top lashes and put something else on my lower lashes now but it is it is the bomb it is a great mascara it makes them look long voluminous the bomb that call so I've really been back into this <sighs> All right, where was I? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cover effects. Um, as you guys know, I recently, in my um, last face of the day in reviews, showed you guys this cover effects foundation in the shade N100. Um, I'm putting this in the favorites along with my drops because I don't own any other things from this company. But I love both of these foundations from like first sight, first try. And what I wanted, I'm sure a concealer from them would be awesome. If you any of you have any cover effects concealers, let me know. Um, so, but both of these can be, well, you guys know, I did a review on the drops, but full coverage, smooth, ooh, smooth, creamy, I mean, amazing. And this is the Total Cover Cream Foundation. Again, I'm in N100. I have to go to Sephora and find a concealer from them because the way this foundation covers, I don't even need no concealer, but the way it, I'm going to try a concealer because I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Boom. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. This MAC pigment. Specifically. Hold on. 
I keep getting distracted. So this MAC pigment specifically in blue brown. I wore it in, like I said, my last, woo, drop the top. Face of the day and reviews video. This iridescent, like I posted a picture on Instagram because it looks as if I have on two, two shades, like a bluish green and then a brown in the outer corner. No, it's very iridescent, very reflective. And depending on how you're looking at it, it looks blue and it looks brown. It is the best thing. The, this little one is $10 like um, by the register. They have a, maybe like 10 or so different colors of pigments. Every time I go in the Mac store, I try to pick up one. And um, that one was a great deal. Like awesome, it is a beautiful shade. Um, like I said, I did a face of the days and reviews on it. It's gorgeous well done well done and how i apply it is i um spray a brush with a little bit of fix plus or other setting spray and put it on like that put it on a little moist okay um let's do two more these are lip products and then i'll save my favorite for last the first one being this maybelline color blur cream matte lip pencil again this is in the last face of the day in reviews video what this is is a matte pencil kind of like the l'oreal la mac la lac pencils that were out very creamy like touch it and you get in pigment very creamy and what it does is um color blur so kind of like you're supposed to blur your lips and like smudge your lips so when i put this on then you have the little smudger piece and when you put it on and you i can't really do it on my hand but hold on you smudge it out and it like made my lips look like, my friend said like I was sucking on like a popsicle or a lollipop and like stained my lips and it was beautiful and it lasted all day and it didn't move, it didn't wipe off. It was amazing. And so I'm definitely going to invest in some other colors of this because it was awesome and the concept, I love it. It's perfect for summer, easy lip, e it, it, it's awesome. It's awesome. I love it. So there you go. And then, um, this, I wore this. This was one of the one of two lip colors I took on vacation. This is the LA Splash Smitten Lip Tint Mousse in Inflame. Now, back up. LA Splash, their factory burned down um, maybe like a week or two ago. I was, you know, I was really sad about it because I love their lip things. But they are back up, not back up, but they are like, they already have a new factory. And they said they're going to start taking orders and their website will be back up in July. And it's already like June 28th. So... In case you guys didn't know, I love LA Splash and I will be making another order. But anyway, these are the Smitten Lip Tint Mousses. I am still working on my matte liquid lipstick review. Because as soon as I'm like, alright, I'm ready to do it, another company comes out with lip liquid lipsticks. Like ColourPop. And who else came out with some? NYX is coming out with some. <sighs> I'm trying to get them all in the video. So that's going to be a long awaited video. But anyway... This one specifically in Inflamed. It is the Balm Red. Y'all know I always be looking for the best red. It is my favorite red right now. It is awesome. I think it's more of a neutral red. Not blue, not orange base. But I'm not good with undertones. But yes, that is my favorite red right now. Matte. Um, are these claimed to be waterproof? I don't know if they claim to be waterproof. But they are. Um, matte. Not tra Non-transferring right don't move i mean the bomb like the bomb i'm sorry my mom came in and i know she has food and i'm kind of distracted and i'm thinking about it like, almost done almost done last thing you guys know as i've been on this channel about my lash dilemma my eyes are huge and i want lashes that go all over my eye one of my subscribers was like candace lashes aren't supposed to go all the way across your eye I don't care. I want mine to go across my at least like two thirds. You know how people have lashes that are too long and they have to cut them. I've never had that dilemma. Like they were just they're just not long enough, and they would always like stop like right here, and I have to pile mascara on. You guys know when I wear my lashes. I love lashes, and there are some lashes that I definitely love, but if they could be a little bit longer, I would appreciate it. I have found some that are the perfect length. These are the Vegas Nay. I have on them, have them on right now. Lashes by Eye Lords. Specifically the style Shining Star. There are multiple styles. Here's another style called Grand Glamour. But I have not tried these yet. These are by Eye Lord, The same brand that makes my favorite double up lashes. Now I don't know if these lashes are the same length as the double up ones. And this is like a glitch in the matrix effect. I'm going to have to mat. I'm have to see. But the ones I'm wearing. This is what they look like. Because I did buy another pack. The Shining Star. This is what they look like. They come all the way in here. They're about right here. And they come all the way out here. The best thing. Thank you, Vegas Nay. 
so awesome. Like I said, I got the other Green Glamour, and I think there's two more styles that I may check out, but they don't look as long. Like, I, I swear I could be tripping, but they don't look all the same length. And the, the double-up ones that I have that I love, I swear they're not the same length. But anyway, I love these lashes, and I think they look great. Again, this is the Shining Star style. Awesome, beautiful. I absolutely love them. I absolutely do. So I think that's all of my favorites. Oh, um, my tablet. I guess it's a favorite. Um, this is the Samsung Note. Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 point something. It's the, not the Note, but it's the Samsung tablet. And, oh God. Anyway, I had another tablet, as you guys knew. I gave it to my mom. It was a smaller tablet. Um... But my uncle gave that to me as a graduation gift, and I really enjoy it because it's I my phone. You know how people have an iPad and iPhone, and they sync with the cloud, and all their stuff is in the same device, and it works, and they can train. That's how it is with Samsung and stuff. So I have a Samsung phone, and I have a Samsung tablet, and like it, my account sync. I don't know, but anyway, it's pretty. I like it. I watch my YouTube videos on it. I do have a laptop, but this is much easier to carry around. Although my laptop's pretty thin, I have a two-in-one laptop with the touchscreen thing. Um, but I got this little case with, uh, and I plug it in and it's a keyboard and I don't know, I just wanted to mention it, but I like the sc galaxies have really good screens and really, really nice, you know, quality stuff. And, um, I like to sit in here and watch my makeup videos because I had another tablet that did that, but this one of course is bigger. And sometimes I don't like to sit my laptop here because makeup and everything and this is easier to, so anyway, I just wanted to mention it because. My uncle got it for me, and I'm really enjoying it, and I love Instagram on it. Like, I can scroll, because it's a tablet. So, like, my laptop, you know, it's not quick with apps, like a phone. But anyway, that is all my June favorites. Again, this video, this tutorial um, should be up before this one. You should see it, you know. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.